Our story today starts in Kashmir, India, one of the most beautiful places on earth, but also a place that's been in conflict for over 70 years. The hero in our story, Zahid Shah. Zahid is from Kashmir, India, and he's never been outside of the country before, but right now he's in New York City for the very first time. Zahid is kind of a legend in the parkour scene in Kashmir. He runs a school there where he's taught over 3,000 students, something that he started all by himself. So I'm gonna be filming with him, learning a little bit about his story, it's super inspiring. I'm gonna get to jump in a ball pit, so let's do this. So, so, Zahid, when was the first time you tried parkour? I saw some of the WPF athletes doing it on Nat Geo on a TV show, and I was like, man, we should do that again. I literally went outside in a park and I started jumping around, like hopping like a monkey. Everybody went nuts and like, man, what are you doing? You don't know what to do. You need to get a, you need to find a job, a career, because where I'm from, nobody actually does any kind of these stuff, no b-boying, no skateboarding, like everything is very much civilized <laughs> in a way. Quick done! <laughs> so Kashmir is known as, it's, it's known as what, potentially the most beautiful place in yeah, the world, the rooftop is, of the world, up um, in the Himalayas, yeah. right? I mean, uh, there was this Persian king who visited Kashmir and he said some verses about Kashmir. It's in Persian, agar fir dos parroi zamiyast, hamiyast, hamiyast, hamiyast. That means if there is a paradise on earth, it's here. It's here, it's here. Despite its natural beauty, Kashmir has been a region of conflict since India and Pakistan were partitioned in 1947. Many of the people in Kashmir don't identify as Indian or Pakistani. They identify as Kashmiri. Kashmir is divided into two parts. One is under, under, under India and the other part is under Pakistan. Kashmiris want, want separate land. So you were telling me a little bit about how like the government kind of cracks down. Can you just, like what happens? Well, there's usually people, kids, usually youngsters on the street, and then there is the Indian forces that use heavy forces like pellet guns, and like on an average, 100 kids lose their eyesights every year. Internet is snapped most of the times. 2016 was snapped for six complete months, and we lost connection to the rest of the world. So there was no internet because people were seeing all yeah. the terrible things that were happening, yeah. so the government cut yeah. the internet so that no one could actually see well, what was actually, happening. Well, actually, it wasn't just internet. For one month, it was mobile services. We weren't even wow. able to make a call. So with all of that happening in Kashmir, like, what does parkour do for you and the people that you teach, the kids that you teach? So for me, it is it makes us happy, and that is the noblest art. The noblest art is to make other people happy. And that is when we release our mental frustration, because at the end of the day, the youths are always full of anger, because that is the stage when they are able to do that. And so that is where you need to come and you need to step up and you need to give them the right direction to channel their anger and frustration, which in turn helps them. Like, yeah, it, most of the time it helps my kids to learn a move and they're very much happy about it. About it. And when they go home, they're very much calm, and which in turn helps with their families. They give a lot of time to their families. They're much more social and, and much more feel much more blessed. Is there any like moment where like you were thinking you were like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life? Well, every day I wake up and I'm like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. It's just pure love. The fact that you're not competing against anyone else, the fact that you are going hand to hand with your own self, that is the philosophy of life. You need to be better than you were the guy yesterday. That is when things get hard, because once you land a flip, the guy in the mirror has done the same. So you have to be better than that mm -hmm. person. And human nature is like this, like once you get something, it's not enough. You have to be better than that. That is what it's I understand. Constant growth. Yeah, constant right. growth. And if we don't have that growth, I believe we're probably good. You are a great teacher. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, someone said if you're not growing, you're dying. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, some, people are, some people are 25 and they're buried at 75. And some live the life of 100 years in 20 years. So that is the philosophy we need to take and we need to pass that to the next generation. Hi, my name is Zaid Shah. I'm a WFPF coach and athlete. Ryan! Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you get? Where's your mouth? How do you get out of here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it takes a lot of courage to get out of there. <laughs> 